Guys, welcome to another video. You've got Mr. Everything English. And in today's video, we are covering question one, paper one, AQA English language. Now, let's begin. And I want to talk you through this pay question exactly how I would do it in the exam. Guys, the first thing you do in your reading and planning time isn't read the source. Come and read the question. Because when you read the question and then you go back to the source, you know what you're reading for. You know what you're looking for. Because this exam isn't about reading for pleasure. We're not sitting there reading a Harry Potter book. We're reading for a purpose. And our purpose is to smash our exam and not waste a single minute. So question number one, guys, it reads as follows. Read again this part of the source from lines one to four. That's the first thing that you must understand. That this first question is only looking at a set amount of lines. And this is lines one, two, four. And then it says, list four things about Mr. Fisher from this part of the source. All right, cool, perfect. So I now know that I am looking at lines one to four and I am looking for four things about Mr. Fisher. So all you do guys on the day of your exam is you then go to lines one to four. And I recommend you put some kind of margin or some kind of box around lines one to four. Because every year you get that student who in the heat of the moment, they're working fast, they're in an exam, their heart is beating, their nerves are getting to them, they end up picking the quote from the wrong section. And if you do, and if you do that, it is game over. So guys, just for your own peace of mind, put some kind of box or something around lines, whatever they ask for. If they say lines one to four or lines one to five, just put a box around that just so you know what you're working with. Now, normally guys, this question is only looking at the first paragraph. And it said, list four things about Mr. Fisher. So as we're reading, we're gonna pick the four things about Mr. Fisher. We're not gonna read it twice or three times. We're gonna do everything as we read. So. Mr. Fisher lived alone in a small terraced house. Perfect, got one there. So he lived alone in a small terraced house and he lived in the center of town. He did not own a car or a cool, did not own a car and therefore preferred to do as much as he could of his weekend marking in the form room after school. All right, cool. So this guy liked to do marking in the form room after school. Even so, there were usually two or three stacks of books and papers to take home on the bus. So we know that Mr. Fisher went home on the bus and that he had through two or three stacks of papers that went with him. All right, cool. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, about six. I've got six different things that I've picked out about Mr. Fisher. Now I go back to the question. Rule number one about this question, guys. This is an easy question. But believe it or not, people take it for granted. This is not a walk in the park. There are a few rules that we must adhere to when it comes to this question. Number, number one, do not write in short form. Write in complete sentences. Mr. Fisher this, Mr. Fisher this. We learn that Mr. Fisher, however you want to word it, Please write in full sentences. That's rule number one. Don't just say, use his bus. Use his bus doesn't mean anything. So please write, Mr. Fisher uses the bus. Rule number two, you can use quotations if you want to. So you can say, we learned that Mr. Fisher, quotation mark, pick a quote, end the quotation mark. That's your choice. Number three, it is also okay to write the answer in your own words. And that is what I recommend. I recommend um, rewriting the extract in your own words. So for example, it says, what do we list four things about Mr. Fisher? So number one, guys, number one, I could write, Mr. Fisher lived alone in a small house. That's done. That is me using this quote over here. Number two, Mr. Fisher 
did not own a car that is me using this part here number three Mr. Fisher used the bus to get home. That's me using the last part over here. And preferred to do his marking at school and there we have it guys there we have it we have our four answers based upon what we selected from our extract nothing complicated but the one rule that you must stick with is whatever four answers you go for you must be able to pick them in the paragraph if you can't prove any of these answers, guys, if you can't prove any of these answers from the extract, then you're gonna get stuck. So look what I did. First, I read the question. After reading the question, I read the extract. But while I was reading the extract, I was picking everything to do with the question. Then I went back and I put the source and the question side by side and I picked the four things that I was going to use to answer the question. The four points that I used were all written out in full sentences and they can all be proven by the extract. And that's it. There's nothing else you have to do for question number one. It is an easy four marks. It's similar to a basic comprehension question. They're saying, read the, fir read the first paragraph and show me what you've learnt in the first paragraph. This first paragraph was all about Mr. Fisher. So they're asking us, what have we learnt about Mr. Fisher? And guys, that is paper one, question number one. Nice and easy, get the exam going, bag these four marks, because every mark is super important. All right guys, tomorrow we will cover paper one, question number two. As always, it's been Mr. Everything English.